Meet the Masters presents Warhol's Colors. The Learning From pages focus on the contrasting bright colors and shape repetition that are found in Warhol's paintings. Most important for the art lesson is page two, where they will practice their lettering both in the block and script styles used in the project. Practicing the calligraphy first will improve their final efforts. Included is the helpful tip of beginning the lettering with the middle letters in the middle of the writing space so words will be centered on the project. Since students will be drawing a spiral for the soup can top, they will practice first at the bottom of this page. Page three gives students an opportunity to draw the rounded shape of a soup can. Display your finished sample and tell students that they will be creating their own pop art turning an ordinary soup can into extraordinary art. They will be adding the same realistic details and lettering that Andy Warhol used in his many soup can paintings. Tomato soup was the first flavor made by the Joseph Campbell Company back in 1897, but students can choose their own favorite soup for their projects. Make sure these vocabulary words are included in the art lesson. Here is the list of supplies needed to complete the intermediate level project. Direct students to place the white paper in a horizontal position on their desks and then mark the top corners with a dot. Round off these two top corners with scissors. The cut should be small and curved. Repeat the same process with the red paper. Almost from the beginning, Campbell's soup has been in the distinctive red and white cans. A company executive had attended a Cornell University football game and loved the look of the players' red and white uniforms on the field, so those colors have been printed on the label ever since. Now students will decide which will be the top and bottom colors. A student can choose to reverse the colors on the actual Campbell soup can, so white will be on top instead. The bottom color will now get an additional cut to give their soup can a more realistic, rounded look. Make a shallow curve cut, like a smile line, along the top of this piece, opposite of the curved corners. Now that the soup can shapes are cut, Students will glue them to the background paper, which is placed in a vertical position. Using a pencil, students will make a dot in the center of the paper, followed by another dot about a finger's width below. The top piece will line up and be glued to that bottom dot. Make sure the rounded corners of this piece are at the top. Glue the bottom piece with its smile line slightly overlapping the top piece. Round off the corners of the yellow square to create a circle of about an inch or so and then glue it to the center of the soup can. The gold seal has been printed on the labels ever since Campbell's won an award for their soups at the Paris Exhibition in the year 1900. Using the black pen, students will draw a line to make a large oval for the top of the can. The line should be curved to give the can a realistic rounded look. A spiral will now be drawn inside the oval.
After practicing on the learning page with pencils, students will do the calligraphy on their soup cans using the black pens. Start in the center of the top section to write the name Campbell's. Remind them to think carefully about the space available so letters P and B will be in the middle. If a script font is challenging for students, they can print the word and then connect the letters with curved lines to give it the look of cursive writing. Remember the letter C has the curly top. Using the red and or black pens, the soup flavor will be printed in block lettering on the bottom section with the word soup written underneath. Caution students to be careful with their pen work to avoid any smearing. Always start at the top and work down. Students complete their soup cans by decorating the gold seal with some simple design like a star or random dots. Tomato soup was the first flavor made by Campbell's, and while it remains popular, chicken noodle is now the top seller for the largest producer of soups in the world. Students will write their name on the front of the artist profile slip, which is then glued to the back of the project. The vocabulary words for today, abstract, shape, color, curve, overlap, spiral, and calligraphy were executed by students as they created pop art with their own extraordinary soup can pictures inspired by master artist Andy Warhol.